All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. Today I want to talk to you about some data acquisition for this old Barracuda here and some of the changes we're going to make. So if you've been following along some, uh, you'll know that Mr. LB Bruins, uh, 79, y'all check out his channel if you have not, is making me, making me an aluminum spacer plate for my carburetor. And he's doing that just as an effort to speed, help me speed the car up some. Uh, currently I have a one inch spacer, you can see it here, it's just the old cheap plastic Chinese uh, $40 one. And I, I have a two inch spacer I'm gonna try also. But before I do that, make any changes, I'm gonna get some data. So this is a non-contact infrared thermometer from Harbor Freight. You pull the trigger and it tells you the temperature. So right now the front of that car is about 88 degrees. So this is gonna be our friend throughout this whole process. And I wanted to share with you where I'm gonna be shooting after I drive the car down the road in just a second. So uh, to show you right off the bat, um, first I wanna start with the very front and center of the intake. See, it's 87. Then I'll go the front of the plate, it's 86. I want to check this float bowl. I can do it on the holly or do it on the center. Either one. I'm just getting a reading here. Um, I do want to do my number one header tube as I come around the side. Um, I'll know what it is after it runs for a minute. You see I got a mark here. And I'll get it much closer. So getting to the side of the intake right there, getting that measurement. I'm going to shoot the main body itself from the side. Um, I wanted to try to get in and shoot, actually, see I can get the base plate right there. Hopefully you can see that rear base plate. So I'll get that measurement. It's 86.3 right now. But after the engine runs and all this stuff is heated up nicely and it's up to operating temperature, that's gonna be the other thing. I can shoot my thermostat or thermostat housing itself. So right now it's 87, but you get what I mean. So basically getting these measurements, uh, the last two will be the exhaust. If I get down, I wanna shoot uh, right in front of the collector, right there. And then I'm going to shoot uh, right back here on the back. See that little stub of pipe right there sticking off behind the glass pack itself. Just to get a reading on it and see what it is. So. Those will be my measurement points, and I need to go drive the car. Now.
our temp says about, I don't know, 175. It's 100 degrees outside, so if this car really does run pretty cool. Let's go check our other temp. So I'm trying to do it the same every time. So as soon as I get out and get back, I'm gonna shoot my thermostat housing first. One forty-eight, one forty-six. Front of the intake, front and center. One sixty-nine. Front of my plate. Let's get it. There it goes. Sorry, one sixty-two. My O and the Holly. One thirty-four. Side. Ow. Right there. 163. I hear a little lightning. Side of my plate. 153. Base plate. Oh yeah. 131. I'm gonna shoot that stud while I'm here. 137. Uh, header tube. Two twelve, two thirteen. Uh, collector. Right there. Two seventy five. Back. 126 and a half. Now, there we go. Something else to fun to throw in. I'm going to shoot this fuel line right here. Right there at the T. 148 back here. We any cooler? Uh, a little warmer. 157 back there. Header tube. 218. Two. About 230 there. 226. And. About 187 on that one. Uh, hard to tell. 201. So we got data, and that's what we need to move forward. So I appreciate y'all watching. I'll take you along every step of the way. Check out Mr. LB Bruins, 79 if you have not. Hopefully he'll make some power for me.